Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, again with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about how to get your hair washed if you do not have access to a shower. So this happens for a multitude of reasons. It could be because of a surgical recovery or trauma recovery where you're in a wheelchair for a period of time and your bathroom maybe cannot accommodate that. It could be a long-term solution for folks who are not safe to be using a shower for hair washing. So they may be doing it from bed level or from wheelchair level. So the goal of this video is to show you two different products, both very affordable, under $50, that can work to solve that issue so that you can get your hair properly washed. The first product I'm going to show you is called called the Mobile Salon. And both of the products I'm gonna show are inflatable, so they can be um, uninflated and then put away very easily, so that's one really nice feature. This is $35 on Amazon. Um, I'm gonna put links down below to where you can find these products. I picked this one because it is extremely small. It comes in a very small envelope that uh, you can then fold back up and put back in. So it's beautifully um, accessible and easy to transport. Uh, this one is going to work both bed level and sink level. I really like it for the sink. I find in the bed that it's a little bit small as far as what the basin can accommodate. But basically what you would do is put this around the client's neck if they're in a seated position. I have here a rolling chair. I only recommend a rolling chair like this if a wheelchair is not available and the person is safe to transfer into something like this. You'd want to block the wheels so that it's not rolling away on you when you're doing this. This kitchen accommodates it because of the L shape so I can kind of cram it in the corner. Now what it's meant to do is kind of bridge the gap between the chair around the person's neck and then able to go into the sink. It has this small cushion here. I find that this little roll, this little inflatable cushion doesn't provide a ton of neck support, so I would probably add a rolled towel or something like that for greater comfort. And then what it does is guide the water and the soap down into the sink. It has these snaps here, and this is kind of a nice feature of this particular product, that will allow you to create either a small opening to kind of guide the water through, which is, um, which is nice in situations where you're trying to make sure that the water goes into a smaller basin, like a bucket, for example. And that's for the use of if you're on the bed level. So you'd want to have access to the head of the bed, and this would then drape over the end of the bed and pour water through this little opening into a bucket that you'd have waiting on the other side. So that's how that's meant to be used. And you can see it creates kind of a small hole there where the water would then pour through. You can leave this completely open, like this, for a sink like this one because the opening is significantly larger or you can close it up entirely leaving no hole and that's really meant for cutting hair. So this is a nice solution that I think you could use for both cutting um, anybody's hair, male, female, etc. And it can be used also as a beard trimming option if you're doing it from a wheelchair level and you don't want to get beard trimmings all over a client's um, skin or all over their shirt. So that's something that you can use this for as well. So like that, it would be positioned just like this. You could use it from the wheelchair level. Anything with a back you could use. You don't want to try to use this without a back. It's very uncomfortable, believe me. I've tried it. So there you have it, the mobile salon. And again, this one's $35, so very affordable. Folds up really small. Blows up easier than a standard water balloon. I mean, it really takes very little air to fill this thing up. So that's really nice as well. Next one I'm going to show you is a product that you would use from the bed level that would be really good for folks who have significantly more limitations to their physical function. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys the bed level solution that I've chosen. This is a $20 inflatable bed basin, and this is available also on Amazon, links down below. This is an option for folks who are completely bedridden for, uh, for bathing. And this is actually quite common if you are dealing in hospice situations or severe trauma. I use something like this with a client who had a, a high level spinal cord injury who could not tolerate being in the shower for any length of time due to a, um, a trach that they were requiring for breathing. So this is an awesome option for that because everybody deserves to have a fresh, clean hair. And so I like this a lot. Basically all it is is a small basin that inflates, it has a drainage um, plug on the bottom here which can be pulled while you have it set up. It has a 40 inch tube which is quite long which is nice so if you have to go a little distance to drain it, um, a lot of times we just have a bucket next to the bed that would collect your drainage water that puts that gravity so it'll kind of pull it out when you need it to. And what we often do is have a second bucket with fresh clean 
warm water that's going to be used for rinsing and for wetting the hair. Now this is a little bit more cumbersome on the, on the caregiver's side because you're going to be having to transport buckets of water potentially, uh, but it does work quite well, especially if you don't have access to a water spigot nearby. On occasion you can use these in a hospital bed situation where you can actually reach close enough to a water supply using an extended reach hose that can attach to your sink. Now this is a solution, I'll show you an image here that you can purchase, also not super expensive, but a good option if you're going to be using a bed level um, basin like this. It does have a small pillow here for neck support. I find, again, it's not a wild amount of neck support, so you may need to add a towel roll or something like that to provide comfort, especially if you're dealing with folks who do have cervical neck issues. So basically, all you would do is have the client lie in this. Now, if your patient requires a significant or your loved one requires a significant amount of help to elevate into one of these, it may require a second set of hands. So this often is something you only do maybe once a week or something like that, but it is available for that. So you'd have to actually lift them up and set them down into this basin. There are other ones out there that have an inflator on the um, upper part of it so that you could actually kind of roll them onto it and inflate it once they're in it. And that's a little nicer if you have somebody who's extremely limited in their mobility. But this one was a lower cost option, so I selected it. So that's basically all you would do. I like to have a small measuring cup or just a small cup to do the rinsing with. Another great combination with this is the shampoo caps. So this is something that we used often in the rehab hospitals. And basically what it is is a shower cap that has shampoo already in it and allows you to get a really efficient shampooing done um, using less water because obviously water is going to be a premium when you're doing this type of washing scenario. So applying the shampoo cap allows you to get that shampoo into the hair and then rinse it without using nearly as much water. So I'll link that as well. So there you have it. Two excellent options for getting Getting the hair washed if you cannot access a traditional shower. I have the sink option, I have the bed option. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you'd like to see more videos on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, please consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you!